everybody it's me again crazy bag lady it's friday what do we say on a friday thank crunchy it's friday weather it's a bit hit and miss it said on my weather app that it was going to be sunny all day but then it said on the radio um that cloudy and the odd shower but warm so who knows morning me beautiful flora Pat Peggy and everybody, um, my three little friends, we've got Bubba, little Positive Potato and little, little Freddie Flint Sloth. Um, many thanks for all your sort of messages yesterday about anxiety and stuff and I know some people do suffer worse, well nobody suffers worse than anybody else do they, but some people it really does dictate their life and it's so hard and I can totally relate how much easier it is to just stay in um, and not face stuff and I, I understand that and it it's so horrible it makes me so cross i wish that i could just find a magic cure to make everybody feel better and we could just all go about our lives and not worry about anything and so if you do suffer with anxiety i totally understand and sometimes if you can try and push yourself a little bit out of your comfort zone if you really struggle with going out try and just go to the shop and buy a magazine a really nice magazine that you'll really enjoy reading i think sometimes if you push yourself and the reward after is nice it's worth it so go go to the shop and just buy yourself a little magazine and a tiny bit of chocolate and go home and enjoy it and think yeah that was a nice reward for going out it's just the little things that sometimes help to make a difference so big hugs to anybody that's struggling so calendar of the day are we ready friday so a smart dear a smile is the prettiest thing you can wear it is it does make you feel better and i also have to say that having a dog has helped me immensely with anxiety sometimes i couldn't face going out but when you've got like a little dog with you it kind of takes i don't know it takes your mind off it because if you feel a bit panicky and stuff you can kind of just stroke your dog and it just makes a massive difference so if you've got anxiety and you've never thought about having a dog they are like therapy um and they can make such a massive difference to your life i know they're a responsibility but they do make a big difference to your life don't get three because obviously that's hard work just get one um even if you get one from a rescue center it can make such a massive difference to your life and i really mean that uh, right so don't worry be happy we've got nothing can hold you back it can't right radio down Baby Yoda, are you ready? Let's wish everybody a lovely Friday. <laughs> Happy Friday, everybody. Right, super fast breakfast because we're going to charity shopping. Woohoo! So I need to hurry up, otherwise we don't have time to go. So, conflict with friends. There you go, darling. I've got banana and yogurt again. So we need to hurry up because I've got to drop some pasta off and stuff for my hubby first. So we need to hurry up so we can go. Here I am. Look at my earrings. I bought these, I think, just after my birthday with my TK Maxx voucher. I've never worn them and I suddenly remembered about them the other day. So they are little butterflies all over them. They're very sparkly and twinkly. Don't know if I rattle a bit when I walk though. <laughs> so, lips for the day, same as yesterday. So, I've got on uh, Can't Quit Cafe and Barely Baked. And I had a bit on my teeth. That's it. When it sets, it sets like concrete, don't come off all day. It's absolutely brilliant. So, anyway, we need to hurry up. We need to get going. Right, outfit of the day. Oh, I've got the jumpsuit. I've had this absolute years in fact it's gone a little bit dingy so it's like a denim jumpsuit it was from new lot quite a few years ago but i bet i don't I'd, I'd say 10 years but i don't want to say 10 years but i've had it a long time 10 years is far too long isn't it um but it's cool i don't wear it very often but sometimes I get the urge i don't know if i'm gonna be warm enough or too hot this weather is so random anyway let's go right in Percy, job's done. So, post dropped off, lottery ticket, Pat's paper. Um, now we need to go charity shopping. And I was just talking to a lady in the shop about teeth, and she's the same age as me, and she's been quite five and a half grand private to sort her teeth out. She's got, or she did have her tongue pierced, and it's caused damage to the backs of her front teeth really badly. So, she said, Tell everybody not to have the tongue pierced because she wore a tongue, tongue piercing for 10 years and it's annihilated her teeth which is unbelievable anyway off we go we've arrived right let's go see if we can find a bargain
You just brought that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know, and now I've had to carry it all. <laughs> it's very annoying. What are you going to use for that? Towels, Towels I think. Throws. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I bought a, I bought a random ladder and I've had to carry it around with me. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so embarrassing. And I bought a couple of the bits and my bags were really heavy and I hurt my back. I like was leaning over to look at something and I thought, oh, my back like went in the middle. Ow. I thought, Jane, keep still a minute. <laughs> I thought I'd not be able to get home. Oh, embarrassing. I always do random things. So many random things I've bought home in these last few years. <laughs> So I bought a ladder. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. I just really liked it and I thought, oh, I'm sure I could use that for something. It was only five pound. So I bought it. Right. It's only 10 past 12, so we've not actually been here that long. One charity shop, the bric a brac section was closed and they have massive loads of bric a brac and that was shut, which was a bit sad. Uh, they're having a new window or something, so you couldn't go up there. Um, but the rest of it was interesting. So I don't know whether Tulip's gone, sent me back, or I could just go home. I think we should just go home. Oh, and Pat's granddaughter rang me while I was here saying are you at home i said no i'm not so she said oh my grandma's food shopping's arrived um and pat wasn't answering the door i think she was still in bed bless her so i'm not quite sure what's gone off there but i think asda will have to take the food shopping back with them if they couldn't wake her up bless her anyway so let's go right we've arrived at the garden center so i've come because i want to get ruby a birthday card and some wrapping paper if the wrapping paper's not too expensive here which it could be
It's one o'clock. Needs to go home for my dinner. So I've got her a lovely card. I got her a bit of wrap paper because it was just like the most beautiful shade of pink. Probably paid too much for it. <laughs> um, they had lots of lovely like autumn stuff, but it was very expensive. And then half of it you couldn't get around because they were putting Christmas stuff out. So I had a quick look, but we're going home now. I'm hungry and I'm cold. I'm home <laughs> and I'm so cold. It's absolutely freezing. Why is it so chilly? It said 20 degrees on my blooming phone. It lied. Oh, right, I need to put a jumper on underneath my jumpsuit because I'm so cold. And then we need to get some dinner. Dinner. So, a bit late with my dinner. It's quarter to two. So, I've got a bird's little cob and two eggs over the top of it and a cup of coffee. And the best things in life are free. The second best are rather expensive. Ooh, the fire is on. Right, so late. Wait a minute, ladies, you've got a little bit of egg each. So, Florence, uh, Dolly, and Winifred. Quick, get it, get it, quick. <laughs> Lovely, jubbly. Isn't that nice? Right, it's now 20 to 3. I've been on the phone to my mum. She wanted me to order a metal dustpan and brush. So she wanted the metal dustpan bit. So now we're going to Pat's, take Pat's paper. Let's hope she's got her as the food shopping bless her. Still got treats there, yeah. Yes, we so got some treats. <laughs> Not yet. No. no. Haven't sold out yet. No. <laughs> no. Part two. Shush, you've got your friends with you, be quiet. Come on then, Florence. Stop jumping. Minnie, hey, we've got to go home. Come on. Let's just go up here soon. Right, we're all home. 
So, let the waiting game begin. We've now got to wait for Mr. Tesco. Oh, right, let's get it all put away. So, I've put my food shopping away. I turn around and that's what I'm greeted with. Mm -hmm. Are you comfy on my Tesco bags? They are my Tesco reusable bags. They are not a dog seat. <laughs> and she don't care, does she? Look at her. You don't care, do you? Hey, why are you sat there? Why are you sat on my bags? So, I've got, she got all and moved, and I was going to put the bags away, and I told her she was sat on them again. <laughs> Who needs a dog bed when you can just buy plastic bags, or canvas bags, whatever they are. Well, she's probably made herself comfy. Now, that's it. She's gone to sleep. <laughs> Ooh. Right, ladies and gentlemen, there is my tea. So it's more or less the same as the other day. So I wanted to use off some of the sourdough bread and the chicken. So me and Ruby have had this like fake pizza thing again, but my husband and James have had sausage and egg cobs. They smell lovely, but I do like this tea off to enjoy it. My tea ah! was delicious. Right, ladies, there you go. Come on, Ruby's back on her bags again. <laughs> there you go. And last but not least, I can't believe how much we likes them bags, it's so funny. Okay, so this is a clip I'm just adding in, but this is us giving Dolly her new toy. Give her it then, see what she does with it. It's very noisy and very sensitive, so as soon as you like touch it, it squeaks. What do you think? Do you like it? Well, you're not sure about it when he's like, what is that? What do you think to it, look? <laughs> Ooh, it's your chicken, do you like it? Well, you're not sure. Got it? <laughs> it's yours. What do you think? Well, Winnie can have it as well if she wants. Like it? Are you not sure? Oh. <laughs> what do you think? Is it good? Come on then. Get it. Get it then. Right. What did we buy? So, we did buy a few bits today actually. Um, so, I bought this. I have no idea where I'm going to put it, but it just looked expensive looking. Um, it was new and it was from Ox Farm and it just looked really, really fancy. And I've seen them in TK Maxx for quite a lot of money. Um, I bought this. I seem to have a bit of an obsession for bottles. Um, but I thought I could do a bit of a like uh, autumn display of it. So I'm putting my autumn stuff out probably on Monday, I think. So I thought oh, I could tie that in with it because it's like a orangey browny sort of colour looks a bit dirty probably wants a bit of a wash um but I just liked it they look so nice when they're just sat about I don't know why I've got this for the dog <laughs> she's gonna absolutely love that um I got this which reminded me of autumn it's a very fluffy orange cardigan Ta -da! um it's one of those ones that you kind of have open um and then I don't really know what to wear underneath it, whether you put like a white vest top or something underneath it, but it's very fluffy and I really liked the colour. I thought it's lovely for that autumn. I bought this for my husband, she worn, because he struggles to get his shoes on sometimes, <laughs> as we all do. I bought this, I thought it was really sweet and I might put it away for my mum for Christmas, so I'm going to start doing my little Christmas pile soon. Look at that, and it's brand new. It's got its new little tags on it, and it's just so sweet. I really, really liked it. Um, I got this. It was slightly more worn than I would have liked. It's got like a bit of wear to the front of it, but I loved the green, and I loved the big turn back cuff. So it's from Warehouse. Um, I just thought, well, if I only wear it a couple of times, it will be all right, but it's like the green. I like green. It was very soft. And then I bought this beautiful uh, Mac which I just thought was so cool. It's got like strap bits down the sleeves. Um, it's got a big belt. Is the belt in your pocket? Yeah, it's got a big belt. Uh, nice buttons. Everything about it was absolutely lovely. It was 15 pound. It wasn't the cheapest Mac on the planet, but I thought the color was really nice. And it sort of matched my scarf and stuff. And I thought, oh, I love that. Shouldn't have bought it, but I really liked it. And then obviously I bought the ladder. So it's a bamboo ladder. Um, not sure where I'm going to put it yet, but I love it. 
I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I just really liked it. <laughs> My house is really not big enough for it, but it's cool. Uh, anyway, it is. So I'm going to love you and leave you. So many thanks for joining me again today. I hope you've enjoyed it. So if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life, then please subscribe to my channel come and find me on instagram as mrs crazy bag lady um my a one's down below it's all down below so in fact before i go i'll just put another clip in where i give dolly that toy because i think she's gonna love it see you tomorrow